Hello everyone, my name is Diamond Master Daniel Kim. Nice to meet you. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Today I'll be covering about the eight steps to uh, success. And so today, uh, before we begin though, I have something else that I'd like to share. So we have the eight steps to success, but as always, as I mentioned before, uh, you know, I want to share about why we should do Atomy, right? Why we should pursue this business and what makes this stand out from others. And so let's start from here where, you know, having a healthy planet with clean air and water will allow us to live longer and healthier, right? This is just something that, you know, kind of be generically common, right? If you have clean, healthy things, environments, then you'll tend to live longer because of that situation. Uh, but the opposite is also true, is where we have a lot of pollution in the air and the water, then our health will naturally decrease. We'll start to have more problems. We'll start to have uh, more issues within our health. And all these chemical substances will start to enter into our bodies, causing us to get sick over time, uh, even though we are might, might not be aware of it. And so there's three ways that we can take in these poison, uh, the first of them being through our nose, right, through air pollution, through the fine dust in the air, uh, through the hair dye chemicals, the bleach, the air fresheners or uh, diffusers. And then the second method will be through poisoning through the mouth, right? So if you are ingest the antiseptics or disinfectants or pigmented food or food additives or pesticide residue that is left over on your vegetables or things like that uh, and hasn't fully disappeared or washed away. And this poison can be disposed of usually through our body uh, by either coughing through like phlegm or going to the washroom. Uh, however, there's one other poison that is something that's hard to get rid of, and that is through uh, poison through our skin, right? And so our skin is also an organ and it can absorb these uh, pollutants through our skin, such as through our shampoo, our makeup, our soap, body cleanser or detergents. And the poison will slowly add up over time, causing problems in our body. And so these substances that cause toxicity are usually fat soluble, right? And so fat solubles means that it's easily able to dissolve in your fat or oil and our flesh is made of fat. So the toxic substance will melt into our fat and accumulate over time in our bodies leading to health issues. And so there was a program in Korea where they were talking and advising about the dangers of these poisons through our skin. So in the TV program, they're showing these fat solubles uh, entering our body and spreading through our blood veins and being spread all throughout our body. Here's another uh, TV program in Korea that was done. And this was another program where they showcased the researchers applying soap and shampoo separately to two uh, cases of mice, right? And so as you can see there, the first one is the uh, mice on the top, you see here is the soap. And then the one on the bottom is the shampoo. Right. And so after 10 days, they showed the result of the mouse. And then, the, as you can see, the box on the left on here, we can see the mice have no issues with the ones that use soap, just a little bit of redness. And then the ones on the right side is really red. Right. This is the ones that were exposed to these shampoo and had severe bleeding. And so because of that, that shampoo brand was also banned from purchasing uh, because of how unsafe it was. And this was another program done by KBS uh, and about how the accumulate uh, of poison is done through our bodies. And they were addressing all the daily essential products that we use in our house could lead to health issues, right? So as you can see on the left side, we have you know, the daily products that we are using, all right, that we might not even be aware of, that is just something normal to us, that we are slowly exposed to these poisons that could lead to health issues over time. And so on the right side, we have uh, this male there that had to go to the hospital because he noticed that there was a lump on his waist. And once the doctors checked it, there was a tumor the size of around 25 centimeters big in his waist. And so this was due to all the exposed chemicals over time. And this was something that they had to uh, address in the Korean news. And so what do we need to do, right? In the first place, 
we go to when we open our eyes is the washroom, the bathroom, right? When we are going there to brush our teeth, to shower. And this is where we're going to be the most exposed to these poison that are able to be entered through our skin, right? So then it's a very simple solution. We just have to switch these products to Adam's products, all right? All these things like shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and your facial care can just be switched over to Adam. And so then you might ask, you know, why do we have to change to Atomy, right? Is there any other brands that we can switch to? Yes, yes, there are. But you have to do your own research and compare the raw materials, the components, the quality and the versus the price of these products. And, you know, if you want to do that, that is your time that you're spending. And time is money that we don't have the luxury of spending doing as much research on these products. And so it's best to just use this knowing that Atomy provides the absolute quality, absolute price product. And so in 2016, there was another news article uh, about Atomy that was following the absolute quality, absolute price rule. And it, that it set for itself. And it said in the news article that due to this result, Atomy's growth in the company grew by about 30 to 40%, right? With this strategy, Atomy has allowed to become, you know, the top 500 companies in the world. And not only that, but it is something is now one of the leading uh, competitors in its industry and is continuing to grow. And so by choosing to use Atomy, you are guaranteed this absolute quality, absolute price. And so what do I mean by this absolute quality, absolute price, right? So let me just show you some of the few examples here today. And so there was a news article in Korea which stated that about 80% of these air fresheners and diffusers being sold by companies, some well-known that you might know, like Febreze and other companies were using, had allergens inside them, right? And so they said that starting from 2018 of June 30th, they are now only going to allow up to 0.01% of allergens uh, from the 26 allergens test. So as long as it's under the 0.01%, then that product will be allowed. And so there is, uh, for Atomy's diffusers, you can see that you know, it is completely allergen free. Right. They have passed not only the 26 allergen test, uh, but they have made it into a 0% allergen free product. Right. And so when Atomy is making even just one product, they're doing their best. They're thinking about their consumers, what benefits the consumers most to have this ultimate quality, ultimate priced product. And so another big news uh, this was in in Korea was in 2016, uh, many toothpastes were actually banned and actually had to be removed from shelves because many harmful chemicals were found in them. And so from 2017 of December onwards, they need to openly show what ingredients were in the products of the toothpaste. But for Atomy, Atomy has been always de uh, declaring and showing to us, to consumers, the ingredients that make up the products. And, you know, these have these amazing uh, effects, right? Such as the Atomy toothpaste, which we all know have these natural antibiotics, which is the propolis, uh, which are included in the toothbrush. And so there was another study done in 2020 of the top sold shampoos in Korea. And these were the top three. So you have the Amore Pacific Rio and then the TS Trillion shampoo and then the LG Propolis protein shampoo. And so the base ingredient for the detergents that are used in the shampoo is the sodium laureth sulfate, commonly known as SLS. And as you can see, it can contain a potentially toxic impurities causing cancer, allergies, and so forth on the EWG scale. And the EWG scale is a rating to determine how much it will affect your health, rating from 1 to 10, 10 being the worst. And as you can see from the EW rating, uh, this, these three products were given the scaling of 1 to 3. And these are the top three sold products in Korea. And so now let's look at Atomy's Absolute Shampoo. 
Right. Atomy is absolute shampoo uses an ingredient called ammonium laurel sulfate known as ALS, and which is rated the lowest on the EWG scale coming to a rating of just a solid one. Right. So from the comparing of these brands of shampoos, which one would you choose? Right. Just from this knowledge alone, I would obviously think you choose the Atomy shampoo. Why? Because it's safer. Right. But obviously, safety is a big thing, but many of us don't always shop for just safety. We also look at its functionality, its uses, right? And so many of us look for hair shampoo that help with hair loss, right? And so these two brands of the TS brand shampoo are known for their hair loss and sold because of them, right? Going for the first one going for $50 and the second one going for $70. And so they have a Q&A section in their website where people are asking, why are these shampoos so expensive? And then they said that these ingredients that they use in the shampoo are naturally very expensive, so they had to sell at this price. But now then, let's take a look at the ingredients that they so-called use, right? And so uh, before we look at the ingredient, a little tip that's helpful is that when you look at the ingredients starting from the very first item that is on the list is the product that is being most used to create the product, right? So the ingredient that's most used. And then from the very end, the last ingredient is the least used amount in the bottle, right? And so in here, the first used item, the ingredient that they use to create the shampoo is clean water, right? So they just use a majority of their product base as clean water, and then they add in the rest, a little bit of what's left to create this so-called hair loss shampoo. And the same thing for the more expensive TS Black shampoo, which also has the base ingredient as clean water only. So then now let's look back at the absolute shampoo. Right, so right off the bat, you can notice that we don't use the clean water as the base of the shampoo. It's the root extract uh, that is a you know a formula that Atomy has developed to extract the roots, and then they concentrate it and condense it into water, and then so you have this herbal nutrient water used as the base to create this absolute shampoo. Right. And so these roots extract not only it helps with you know uh, helping with keeping it very healthy and also uh, very clean, so you don't have to be exposed to chemicals, but it also allows for hair growth and increase in hair growth. And so this absolute shampoo comes up to about twenty four Canadian dollars. Right. So right now you can already see the price comparison from these three different products, right? So you have the $50 shampoo with clean water as the base. You have the $70 shampoo also with clean water as the base. And then you have the $24 absolute shampoo with herbal nutrient water as the base. So which would, would you choose, right? Knowing that not only absolute, Atomy has the absolute safest product there, but the most efficient product with the absolute price, the answer is so obvious. And that's why there's no reason to debate why we should switch over to these products. They're already pro providing us with the most essential needs that we are looking for. And so these are why it's just a simple idea to switch over to Atomy's amazing high quality products. And that's why we need to use and do this business because Atomy is offering the ultimate products for us to use and to distribute. And so now we're just going to transition into our eight steps, the main topic for today. And so as you know, the eight steps to success is the core uh, Atomy has developed for us to create success, right? And so we have the first uh, step, we have to set the goal and then the second step to be committed and kind of, you know start to commit yourself to the business and then you create your list and after that once you create your list of uh, potential customers and partners you invite them to your business you invite them to use the product and then you explain to those who are interested in doing this business about the business and then after that you follow up with them and then you bring them in for a consultation 
And lastly, just duplicate steps one to seven with these partners, and they just duplicate themselves to their partners as well. And so this is the eight steps to success. And so this eight steps is not very difficult, right? Uh, it's very straightforward. Uh, but the thing is, many people still fail to do these eight steps uh, and only have they have trouble finishing these eight steps or even getting to, you know, finish the first few steps in doing this business. And so this is where, uh, you know, your business starts. And if you want to succeed, you want to have these steps ingrained in you so that you can have that ultimate success. And so let's cover the first step, which is to set a goal. Right, so that you write down these goals and dreams that you can have to help you know what you are aiming for, what you are looking for the right now, right? And so you want to be very specific with your goals, not just like I'm going to become a sales master or I'm going to be a, become a diamond master. No, you want to visualize, you want to make a goal that is going to become true, right? I'm going to be a diamond master by July 25th of 2023. Right. How am I going to get there now? Now you're going to have to start planning for those steps to get there. I'm going to start looking for these partners by going out every day, meeting, meeting people, having meetings, talking to people, sharing products. Those are the stop, the, the things that you need to take in order to get to your goals, not just, oh, I'm just going to reach this goal one day. Right. And so this is how you become successful in anything. Right. Whether you're doing your own business or whether you're doing Atomy, it doesn't matter. You need to have a goal to do anything successfully. Right. And so you need to meditate and visualize your goals on a daily basis to help you become the sales master or any sort of mastership you aim to become. And you take the necessary steps to make that goal into a reality. Right. So you want to plan that balanced lifestyle. And so the next step is commitment, right? You have to commit yourself to Atomy. You're going to put your best foot forward. Are you just going to sit on the fence or are you going to actually commit to Atomy, which is going to be the deciding factor to your success, right? Make a firm decision, right? You have to understand that this is not going to be something that you're going to do a moment and then give up one moment. Then that means that you haven't really decided on doing Atomy yet. Right. If you're still having issues of committing yourself to Atomy, then that means that you're still on the fence, that you haven't made a decision about pursuing Atomy. Those who have truly decided to do Atomy, they don't care what other people will say. They don't care you know, how little success they have right now. They'll still continue to work hard. They'll still continue to put in the efforts because they know that right now is a time that they need to plant their seeds but later on, they'll be able to reap the rewards of all their hard work, right? And so in order to be uh, committed, you also need to be consistent. Consistency is key, right? You can't just give up and, you know, one day work hard and one day give up. And then another day you work hard and another day you're giving up, right? If you're doing that over and over again, then you're just going in circles. There's no progress to your business. Right, so do not give up if someone asked once uh, that got rejected or someone that you rejected, you know, they that you asked and they rejected you and then you immediately be like, oh, this is not for me. Oh, why am I doing this business? This is so hard. Right. And then you give up on doing this business. No. Right. You have to be consistent. You have to continue to reach out. If they rejected you, it's OK. Ask again. Right. Because you have decided to do this business because you believe in the products, you believe in the company, right? I just showed you why, right? Why we need to do this business because Atomy is not giving us bad products to use. Atomy is not giving us expensive products to sell, right? These are all really great products for us to use and give out and share. All we need to do is let those people who don't know to understand why they need to know why they need to switch, right? And all it takes is a little bit of hard work and consistency. And so you have all the tools you need to be successful because Atomy has given you the ultimate weapon, which is the absolute quality, absolute price. And so you just need to be, be patient, right? So what does that entail? What is it to be patient? You need to do the eight cores every day. Right. Not just Monday, Tuesday, and then you take the rest of the week off every day. Every day you need to do the eight core. Why? 
this is not for your sponsors. This is not for your partners. This is for yourself, right? This is for you to make a checklist of yourself, how much you have grown. In the beginning, this A core will be empty because you don't know how, you don't know where to start, but that's okay. Over time, if you do it every single day, each step that you take will bring you closer to the person that you want to be, the successful person that you want to be, right? And so all it starts with is taking action by doing the eight cores every day, not for everyone else, not for your sponsors, but for yourself, change for yourself. And so the next step is now to create a list. You want to make a list of everyone that you know, right? That, not just one or two people, not, be, not people that you think might do the business, everyone that you know, everyone that you've met, right? Doesn't matter if you think they are going to do this business or not, or if you think they're going to use the products or not, right? Because you don't know yet. You haven't asked yet, right? So change the way you think. Change your mindset about doing this business. Don't make your list based on what you think will who you think will be interested in Atomy, but write down everyone. And if you want to achieve something difficult in your life, you have to take the steps and put in the work to make it happen, right? You have to be determined, right? Those, and that's what it's like to live in terms of anything, right? Whether you want to do your own business, it's not going to be easy, right? If you want to open a convenience store, it might seem simple, but it's not. You have to contact the distributors, you have to you know, take care of products that are being shipped overseas to get through customs and security. You have to pay those taxes and fees. There's a lot of different rules when you want to set up your own store, right? Just like how it's difficult to do that, the same thing for Atomy. It's not going to be easy, but for the reward that you get for doing Atomy, it's going to be a lot bigger than what you can do if you're running your own convenience store. And so step four is to invite, right? You want to invite the people that you wrote in that list that you created, right? It's very important part of the business is to invite, right? Without invitation, no one's going to know that you're doing this business. No one's going to know what you're selling, right? So you want to set a number of people you want to reach per day, right? And be consistent. Every day, you're going to reach three people. Every day, you're going to reach out four people, right? Even if it's just one person a day, reach out to them. Right? Because that's you trying. That means that you're actually working hard. Doesn't matter if they reject you. It's okay. You do it again, right? You go back and study and you learn. And then you try to find a different way to approach them. Instead of doing the same mode, oh, here's a product, try it. No, you might try a different strategy, right? You, maybe you bring in your sponsors to talk to them. There's different methods. All it takes is for you to not be lazy and not be scared and actually make the efforts. So make the phone calls, meet people, and attend the trainings because that's where you're going to learn. Trainings like this, seminars on Tuesdays, right? Your you know, success systems, all of these are designed to help us be informed, be uh, educated, and able to teach other people why they need to choose Atomy. And so when you invite people, be sincere. Let people know what benefits Atomy is giving them, right? Not because you're trying to sell them a product, but because you want them to use it because you're worried, right? Because of the things I explained before. The you know, world is getting older and older because we are polluting it and we're starting to have companies selling us products that are harmful for us instead of actually doing us any good, right? But we can trust a company like Atomy because they're actually producing products that are actually showing real benefits. So there's no reason for us not to share. And so the next step is to explain the business, right? Once you've found and invited those people, out of those people, you're going to have a majority of them are going to be consumers. And that's fine. You need to have consumers to do a business. But then from there, from those many consumers, Few of them are going to be interested in doing more. They're going to be like, wow, this is amazing product. Maybe I can do something more. Maybe I can sell this business, right? And from those people, that's where you can explain the business, what the company concept is about, right? The prestige products, the strategies of prestige, 
the products that we have, the absolute quality, absolute price, the compensation plan and how they're able to make money and the anatomy vision. And so all of these combined, if they are truly someone who can understand this, then they'll understand why they need to pursue the business. And so step six is now to follow up with those people you've explained the business to, right? Don't wait a week. Don't wait a month. If you speak to them, call them back in the next few days, right? Find out what's been happening. Listen with care and provide a solution or advice that might be helpful and arrange a subsequent follow-up. You want to continue to keep following up with them. This is how you do customer management or partner management, right? You have to learn how to manage your partners if you want to succeed in this business. How? By listening. Not by talking, not by trying to sell them something, by listening. Then you understand what their issues are. Oh, lately, Daniel, I've been having a lot of issues and my stress and you know, I've been losing hair, right? And so on and so forth. And then you listen and he's like, oh, you know, I've also been having issues and been losing hair, but I've been trying this amazing product from Atomy. Uh, and, you know, as mentioned earlier last week that I talked to you about, it's called the Absolute Shampoo. Right. It really works and it's really great. I've been using it for a few months now and, you know, I've been having that hair loss, but it's a big difference now, right? Explain to them why they need to switch under, make them help them understand. And then step seven is to consult, right? You want to consult with these people, bring in your sponsors and help consult together with them, right? And be positive, be caring ready to listen and providing advice and support for these new partners because they don't know anything, right? Just like how when you first started, they don't know anything about Atomy, about how great it is. So you want to help teach them, right? And it's very simple. You just have to listen and support, right? And so let's say you, you have someone that came in and you know they're one of your partners, but they say, like, I don't know anyone. They You ask them to make a list and they say, I don't know anyone. And so, you know, they don't, have a list of people uh, because they don't really, you know, create this. They don't bother to think about it, right? So then, what you what do you do? If they're scared to think about it, they're worried about what the other people will think, or if they're gonna fear rejection. Sit down with them and help them make that list, right? Oh, so who do you know? Oh yeah, I have my mom, I have my dad, I have my brothers, my sisters. Oh, I have my neighbor across the street I'm close to. I have my friends, my family members, my cousins. There's so many people, right? They're just too scared or too confused. They, they're worried about all these rejections so they might not create that list. So help them make that list and help them reach out to those people. And so they might come in and say that, oh, I have no one to register as a member then let them know that they probably did not explain about the company or its visions or about the products, right? You know, instead of focusing on the company or vision, you could also focus on what the company offers in terms of their products, why they should register as a member. It's free, right? There's no registration fees. The products are really great, right? And then they also come in and they say, like, oh, you know, they don't, I, they don't make any sales. They, I'm not making any sales from doing this business. And advise them that they might not be a repeat customer themselves. Right? How do they expect to sell anything within when they don't know anything about the product themselves? Right. Earlier, I explained briefly about amazing products that Atomy had to offer, and there were just a few products. Right. The diffuser, the toothpaste. Right. Especially the absolute shampoos. There's very simple but straightforward reasons why we need to use them, right? So in order to sell a product, they must be able to learn about the best features of their products so that they can sell the products with the absolute product quality that Atomy has to offer, right? So in order for that to do it, then you need to use it, right? How do you know Hemoim is good if you don't use it, right? if you don't experience the benefits? I know hemohem is good because I have allergies, but when I used hemohem, it cleared away my allergies. Why? Because hemohem has a immune booster. It boosts your immune system and helps you fight those uh, issues within your allergens. And that's why you're able to receive and recover from allergies, especially those 
spring allergies that you have. And so these doesn't happen without product experience. So please, please make sure you try everything out for yourself before you offer it to anyone else. And so you might have some other people coming in and they're going to they're gonna say that, oh, you know, there's not anyone that's going to be joining this system. I'm having trouble finding people to join the system. Right? You said that I need to bring people in, but they're not joining. Right. And so, you know, people can succeed even if they have no skills or aren't smart. That's the power of Adam. Right. But they can't do it if they don't plug themselves in, no matter how smart they are, no matter how talented they are, they can't succeed in Atomy if they do this by themselves. If they think that they're a know-it-all and they think that I don't need Atomy, I don't need the system, I'm just gonna go out there and sell, trust me, they're gonna come back within a few months and they're gonna say, I can't do it anymore, I'm gonna quit, right? Because they don't understand the system that Atomy has to offer. They don't understand the value that Atomy has. It's not about selling, it's about, understanding it's about learning and then it's about sharing what you learn and so someone else might come and say that oh the newcomers don't feel welcome and they might leave then that might be a you problem right because in atomy you must serve others with humility humility is very important right you must embrace taking losses don't be afraid of using some money for your partners, for your customers, right? This is not a race against your other partners. It's not a race about who succeeds more, faster, or you know, things like that, right? What matters is how well can I serve my partner, right? Oh, you know, my partner came in all this way, worked really hard, they're really working hard. What can I do for them, right? Whether that is sponsoring them with PV, sponsoring them with your time, right? even giving them a few extra bonus products that they can try out here and there. These are all things that you can do for your partners, right? Will it cost you time? Will it cost you money? Yes, but they'll now feel more trusted towards you, right? They'll feel more understanding that, wow, this person is really doing their best to, to make me understand why I need to do this business, right? Why I should love these products. And so the last step that we need to do is to duplicate, right? So steps one to seven, all the steps that we just covered, we just need to duplicate these results onto our partners, right? And so in order to duplicate the right result to our partner, you, the original copy, has to be the best version, right? If you don't show up to meetings, if you don't use the products, if you are not working hard, then what are your partners gonna copy? Exactly those things, the bad qualities that you have, right? And then you're gonna come to your sponsor and complain like, oh, my partners are not working hard. You know, they're not doing anything. But how can they work hard when you are not working hard? If you, you are being lazy, if you are, you know, not really understanding or using the products, right? Everything starts from yourself, out of me, in this business, it all starts from you. You are the beginning point to your success, right? No one is gonna do your business for you. No one is gonna do Atomy for you, right? If you truly want to meet uh, all those people at the top and make 100,000 a month, do you think that you can just do that by sleeping every day, not meeting partners, not using products? No, you have to do all of those things. You have to work hard. You need to meet product, uh, use products, meet people. You need to go out there and let people know and actually work hard. Otherwise, you can't make 100000 Even people who make 100000 a month, they worked really, really hard, right? And they don't even have a system income business like us, right? So if you want to be able to make something like this, a true system income business, you need to put in the effort that, and time that requires you to get there. And so I hope that you know, this was a good learning time for you and you were able to learn something about the eight steps and why we need to do Atomy and why we need to choose Atomy. So thank you all for listening. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a great day.